Hey, what's up, guys? LLP here, and welcome back to another episode of Gold Guild SMP. Are you ready for the big reveal? Because, um, a bit off camera since the last episode, uh, we are, we do, we have moved to a new spot, a nice flat area. I've started construction on my house. Most of the supplies I got from the strip mine that Blitz, Cindy, and Maximum set up. There's also a spawner down there. I think I told you guys about that in the last episode. But are you ready? Are you ready? Bam! Take a look at this so far. So, I've been working on this all morning. Um, the, the morning of me recording this. It is Sunday morning. And I've been working on this since about 6... Uh, just mining and clearing, and this is going to be my house. It's going to be symmetrical. So the same way that this goes in and over like this is going to happen here. It's going to go back. It's going to go back and then over, and then it's going to have a little room here. We've still got to clear out uh, all of this dirt here, which I am going to begin while I'm talking to you guys. So how has your week been? Mine's been pretty good. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on on Gold Guild since I last uploaded a video, actually. Um, back at Blitzcinity's base... Oh, also, you didn't see this, but originally I had set up a nether portal here. Um, I have contacted Maximum because he knows how to fix nether portals, because when I linked mine up into the nether, it accidentally connected to Maximum's base, which is somewhere that way. I'm not sure. It's a, maybe a good few hundred blocks away from... Everything's a good few hundred thousand maybe blocks away from me so we're pretty far there's a mountain range and a mega taiga in between the old base and this base uh, which is good because I like my privacy in real life uh, and in Minecraft so we're just gonna get rid of this dirt here um I do have to go back to my old base again I'll do that off camera because it's about a f 10 I believe it's just like a five minute walk so I don't want to do that on camera. I'll probably do a cut or something if we go back there in this episode. Because I do have to get more cobblestone and smooth stone. And I do need to get more coal as well. Because we need to continue smelting up um, some smooth stone so we can make stone bricks. And we do... We have enough glass. After I finish up this layer of uh, dirt, I'll show you guys in the chest. We've got, I, th I believe, two stacks and 32 or something of glass panes. Um, I made them into glass panes because that you can get more out of it. And I, I like the look of, gla of uh, glass panes better than glass blocks. I feel it adds kind of like a depth texture to the um, to the walls. So, as you can see here, uh, yeah, we've got about a stack in 32. And also, I am going to be setting up a pig farm here because chicken has really bad saturation in Minecraft, meaning it doesn't keep your hunger all the way up for very long. But uh, uh, cooked pork chops do, and so do cooked beef. And there's a lot of cows and pigs in the Mega Taiga down that way. So we're going to be grabbing those and setting up a farm once we get the house set up. But for now, my 37 chicken should do perfectly fine. If it doesn't, eh, that's just, I guess, we'll just have to go back to base. Um, one thing I do want to show you is we are going to do what I've been doing to get back over there. We're going to relight the nether portal here. That's a chest. Uh, let's see, where is my obsidian and... Where is my flint and steel? Um, oh god. Do I have any flint? No, but I do know where we can get flint. Looks like I left my flint and steel back in my old base, but I do know that there is a nice little gravel patch that I blocked off over here. So let's see if we can possibly get some flint out of it. Just one piece of flint is fine. I would hope we would get at least one. Oh, yep, there it is. Let's grab this. Oh, and if you're wondering, my pick has efficiency 5 and I'm breaking 3. That's why I'm mining so fast. Let's just leave that. I'll fix that later. Alright, so let's hope we have some iron. I don't know. We might not. That's a problem. We might need to go check in like a cave or something. No. But, lucky. Let's... Lucky for us, there is a cave under my base, which I have to explore. I believe it's like right here. Yes, it is. Alright, so let's head down. Let's see, can we get any iron in here? Oh, yes, perfect. Just need one piece. Hello. Thank you. Server's been lagging a bit this morning, which is weird because this, this server's really good with um, handling lag. It rarely ever lags, which is what why I went with craft node hosting. So let's smelt this down. Okay, iron ore into furnace. 
And then once that smelts, let's reset up the nether portal here. And hopefully, you know, we could get lucky. We could get unlucky. And it could link up to its own little spot. But I doubt it will. I'm pretty sure it'll link up to maximums, which is what I want right now because I'd like to get back to spawn. Because uh, I'd like to show you some stuff that's happened. So flint and steel. Let's light you up. Let's actually sleep. Can only sleep at night. Let's just watch the great sunset and wait for that thing to go down a bit more. That way we can sleep, and when we come back to spawn, it will not be um, murderous. All right, perfect. Oh, really? It's not. It's not deep enough yet in the world. Seriously. There we go. Perfect. Let's hope nothing kills me. All right, we're good. All right, let's head back. Uh, let's put. Let's just leave our stuff here for now. The flint and steel will bring just in case. Alright, into the nether. We're getting freaking 40 frames per second. This is good. Uh, into the nether. Alright, we're here. Are we here? We good? Yes, this is Maximum's portal location. Let's head this way. It's not too much of a walk from his portal location to the spawn portal. So we should be there in a few minutes. Or in actually less than a minute. It's just down this corner here. Right? Yep, down this corner. And, oh, or not. It's further than I thought. Okay. Let's just jump around here. Oh, here we go. Here is the portal. And it looks like someones he's starting to put um, stone brick down, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we are gonna we are gonna work on the nether hub. We just haven't had time to. Uh, we're gonna get our the best builder on the server, uh, CM Brockman. Where I'm gonna ask him if he wants to help with it. So now that we're here, let's. I'm gonna show you guys that two new buildings have sprung up since the last episode. Uh, of course, the bank. And then Furno's thing. But here we got two new buildings. Uh, they seem to just be work in progresses right now. This is Furno's bakery. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a good location to get bread and stuff and pie and things. And then here we have Blitzinity's food market. So um, he, it's free cake, cake. And then you can also meet. Oh, it looks like he only has chicken. Mushroom stew. Fruits. Okay. And then you pay there. Okay, this is cool. So this looks like it's going to be the f the fooding, the food district kind of place. And then also we've set up some spawn supplies. I don't know what the leaves are for because I don't know what they could be used for for spawn. I guess someone's planning to put like foliage or something. And and there's one more thing I want to show you guys in this episode. So I'm pretty sure it was Blitzenity and Maximum who worked on this. It is a really awesome bridge. I didn't even know they were going to... I knew they were going to build a bridge, but they told me this yesterday, and they said they, they were going to take them a while, so I'm pretty sure they stayed up. They stayed on here for a while to build this thing because it is so impressive. You ready to see it? Ready? Ready? Boom. Check this thing out. Look at this. And look, they even the pillars go down into the water, which is really cool. It adds a nice effect to this. I'm pretty sure... I'm hoping they bring this up the mountain, but I don't know. I might ask them that on Skype, but check this bridge out. They said they were tired of climbing through the mountains, so they built this bridge, and it is so cool. This thing is huge, and it's awesome, and I love it so much. And then they've got some supplies here uh, from building it. So yeah, I think that's going to be where we end off today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed, please, please, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Um, last week, we didn't get as many views on the Gold Guild episode, but I'm pretty sure that was because of finals or YouTube's just being stupid. But, as all, if you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. As always, I have an LP, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.